Hi everybody, my name is Glenn Monroe and in this video I want to deal with a pet peeve of mine that I've just come across lately that it just bugs me and I, I think if it bugs me it might bug other people too. And it's one of the little boxes that shows up in Excel. So I don't mind this one for autofill. When I take the fill handle and I click and I drag it across, you get the little autofill options and I like that one because these are usually some good choices to switch to weekdays or something like that if that was relevant to here. Um, so I like that one because it shows up when I'm done. That's another factor behind it. Now people get frustrated that it stays there. Well, if it really bugs you, then you can just type something in a cell and hit enter. It goes away and then undo it. That's fine, it will go away. But there's a new one they've added, and this is in Office 365 that I'm demonstrating it. I'm gonna guess this shows up in 19, probably 16, maybe even 13, where you grab this range and you let go, and this one shows up. And it gives me quick analysis options. So I click on quick analysis and this little pane shows up where I can do formatting or charts or totals. And I have the menus at the top for that. I don't need that all here. I'm not usually in that much of a rush. I need it right in this moment. So for me, it's not that great of a thing to have. I guess it's nice and maybe it's nice for touchscreen users to be able to you know, grab your range, click the thing, bop, 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 done. So there might be something good about it. For me, I'm not going to use, I don't believe I'm going to use it that often. So now it's in my way, because when I go to take my fat plus and go to make it a skinny plus, I got to hit that button in the corner and I got another thing I can hit. Now it's not that hard here for me to get that skinny plus on my laptop screen, but when I'm using the, the screen I've got on my wall in my office, I got a 50 inch screen on my wall that I can use. I found when I was teaching a class there the other day, I was trying to hit it and maybe it's old eyes or something, I don't know. But I was just, it was a harder thing to hit and it bugged me. So I'm here today. When I hover over the quick analysis tool, you'll see it says control Q. We're going to want to remember that in a few moments and I'll show it to you again. Now I'm going to solve this problem. File, down to options, on the general tab, user interface options, show quick analysis options on screen. I'm gonna uncheck that one. And then I go down here and hit okay. That's it. And now when I grab this range, it doesn't show up anymore. So that's out of my way. But if I'm thinking, oh man, I wish I didn't get rid of that thing. I actually could use it right now. Control Q and it comes back. So I don't mind the control Q shortcut. So it's only there when I need it. And otherwise it's gone. I've now solved that headache for me. Hopefully, if, if this bothered you, I've solved that headache for you as well. Ask questions if there's something you're looking for. I'm trying to provide more content to be helpful to people. So ask questions and comments. Let me know what you're looking for for me. I'll be, I'm gonna keep guessing and sharing things that bug me and hopefully making your life a little bit better with the use of Microsoft on a regular basis. Subscribe, I think it's down there, my icon down there. Share with other people. You know all the button stuff to do. I'm glad to have you with me. Thanks for taking the time, everybody. Stay pumped. We'll see you next time. Bye now.